Will do. find ourselves at an impasse. You are no fate binder to be shrugged off, dispatched or underestimated. No, that time is over. You are an Archon. Do not make light of what you've done. Between claiming powers beyond your ken and proclaiming an edict, I no longer know what to think of you. Time will tell if I am willing to tolerate your presence in this realm. The voices of Narat must be executed. With his destruction, his leaderless mob will disperse throughout the tears from which they came, and we will be free to subjugate this lawless realm. Yes. I thought we would come to this. Bow in allegiance to me, and Kairos will be appeased. I was afraid this would be your temperament, and it saddens me. Power should have humbled you, but it has made you vain. Fatebinder? Hm, no. Archon. Welcome back to Ashweald. You've been busy. Let's end this. of a lifetime. <laughs> Don't die too easily. Won't look good for me. I've got it. On it.
This will be fun. <laughs> Will do. Try the round for me. Okay, that's it. Hmm. More bodies to prepare. You'll have to hit Alpha to kill some shadow smells good. Like mountain dog. Makes beast woman blood stir. <laughs> Run hot hot. <laughs> Little Chitterbird has pledged to Alpha of Kills and Shadow. He is good for Chitterbird's chance of survival. But bad for Beast Woman's ears. Human Shadow Mystic. Archon of Darkness is dead. Kills and Shadow thinks this cannot be true. Shadows are strongest! Fate binder wants beast woman? Good, yep. Then found back of rot smelling chorus in Apex lands. Humans tried to scamper free on sight, but beast woman was already in full sprint. Legs were pumping, blood was surging fast, heart throb, 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 flicked claws and slashed through backs, ears filled with screams. <laughs> Hail, mighty Archon. Your newfound power runs in the face of what I thought I knew. All my life I've been told Kairos alone can issue an edict. And yet, here you are, proclaiming mastery of the lands just like the Overlord. Uh, you mean his powers. You say that now. Let's see if you still feel this way when the reality sinks in, and your mastery of this newfound power solidifies. Put another way, if I could do what you do, the world would be at the mercy of my depravity. Cursing the name of Ebb, Archon of Fecund Fluids. Your newfound power runs in the face of what I thought I knew. All my life I've been told Kairos alone can issue an edict. And yet, here you are. I should certainly hope not. Taratus isn't large enough for Kairos, and it's certainly going to get very interesting if the two of you start waving your edicts to and fro. I would have felt if someone else were proclaiming edicts. I knew when this one activated the spire. From what I know of Kairos, the Fatebinder is definitely a wrinkle in some carefully laid plans. Your newfound power runs in the face of what I thought I knew. Yes, fortunate indeed. I will endeavor to be worthy of the honor. Your newfound power runs in the face. What is it you- I've got it. 
Your campaign ends here, maggot of unreason. For all the fealty to the disfavored, has the Archon of War ever set you above his northern inbreds? No. We could have been magnificent together. But instead, we will have your bones fashioned into a scepter. Attend to us, darlings! Come, gather around and watch us destroy the Fate Binder. To battle! What's he got? So few of you, so many of us. How this seems fair, does it? Have a taste of our nightmares. Little morsel, we would have a word with you. Whatever the thoughtless rabble may whisper about this moment, don't delude yourself into thinking you are powerful, that you matter, or that someone out there isn't greater still. We came from nothing. Our deeds defined us to the people, and the people knew us as a monster. Did you imagine we were always flames, voices, and secrets? At least you know the value of good advice. That will take you farther than any beaten trail, and it will bite deeper than any crude weapon of iron. No! Not like this! We were so close! Think of all the Tearsmen we have avenged, and all that we have set free. I do feel a touch of sorrow for all the minds that had to die with him. I hope they are now at rest. M Shadow Hunter, and Archon Killer, M Terror, M Death that stalks and swift, swift silent strikes from darkness, and most feared predator in all of Tearsland. Will do. Alpha, to kills and shadows smells good. Beast woman is happy. Likes when fate binder wins. Likes that fate binder slaughtered. Alpha of scarlet chorus without mercy. Fate binder wants beast woman. Good, yep. Looked through strange smelling graveyard of sage mystics and a light of.
If indeed Tunon's headsman has been dispatched, then I am spared a nightmare plagued by shadows. I see no fresh blood on your armor, but I sense that something has happened. Where once many congregated, there is now an absence. Well enough, damn you! I... Oh. Forgive me, Fatebinder. Suffice to say, this war has taken its toll on me. As have all the battles of centuries past. I take each death personally, you understand. But never mind an old man's ruminations. You have a report to make, and I am anxious to hear it. At last, the Scarlet Chorus are undone. We can properly conduct this war and subjugate the tears as Kairos intended. Yes. I thought we would come to this. I had hoped to avoid the confrontation. I knew you as Tunon's pupil. But now you are an Archon, and so much more. I would see you continue in your service to Kairos, but as my ally rather than my enemy. Bow in allegiance to me, and Kairos will be appeased. We I was afraid this would be your temperament, and it saddens me. Power should have humbled you, but it has made you vain. What do you propose, then? A proposal as insulting as it is laughable. You are an Archon in your infancy, unproven, untested, and unprepared for the trials of leadership. Yours? By what possible right, by what mad ambition do you challenge my... my... I... I am not ignorant to the wisdom of your words. They pierce me like a lance through my heart, but... There is truth. I was an accomplished warlord in the earliest days of the Empire. There was no fortress I couldn't breach. No distance I couldn't march. But the years have reduced me. I care too deeply for my legion to see them suffer. I lost nearly everyone for whom I cared, and suffered for those I sought to protect. I would not wish this for anyone. I submit to your authority as Archon and Master of the Disfavored. Fatebinder. You have proven yourself a truer general than I ever was. I relinquish my hold over these women and men, and place them in your keeping. I submit to you. As your Archon, I will obey your laws, carry out your orders, and protect whatever ways of life you see fit to impose on the tears and beyond. You carry a heavy burden now. It is no small task to lead a legion. At times, the strain was too much to bear, even for the likes of me. Devotion claims a heavy toll, and over the years it wore me down until... Fine, fine. Ignore an old man's wandering mind. Your soldiers will look to you for guidance. You must be ready to take on any challenge on their behalf. Lead by example. Lead with the Iron Fist of the Disfavored! The time has come to bring glory and triumph to this conquest. Go now, and bring order to what remains of the Tears. I will stay behind with the army, training and preparing to carry out your will. Then I can pass on my authority with a lighter heart. Remember, Archon, it isn't enough to slay your foes by the thousands. You must always remember why you fight. Yes.
Fatebinder, thank you for answering my summons. This could very well be the defining hour of the conquest. My headsman. His life was not yours to take. I will determine if you are as loyal as you claim to be, Fatebinder. You have made quite a name for yourself, Fatebinder. Stories of your deeds have spread through the tears, and all of them have reached this court. Some actions have consequences. The court has its own charges to present, and invites you to answer for yourself. Yes, and I would ready yourself to form a defense. The trial begins now. I recommend that you treat these moments with deserving gravity, as they might be your last. At least your civility remains intact. You are on trial for transgressing on the Overlord's authority, breaking the laws of the Empire, bringing mayhem to an otherwise orderly conquest, and meddling in concerns that fell beyond your station. The court has inquiries into your conduct. I first call your travel companions to speak on your behalf as witnesses to your character or accomplices to your crimes. Who will speak on behalf of the Fatebinder? Siren, Archon of Song, give us your full report. Of course, Your Honor. Your respect for a fellow Archon is duly noted. I thank you for asking me to add my input in this very delicate matter. After a lifetime of being degraded and humiliated for the amusement of others, the Fatebinder took an injured young woman and treated her as an equal. His behavior is beyond reproach. There is no equal in my eyes. Will anyone else speak on the Fatebinder's behalf? Tidecaster. The court wishes my testimony. Well then, I am ebb of the school of tides and... This room echoes a lot. It's very intimidating. I don't know what passes for glowing praise in this particular court, but the Archon gets my reluctant but uncoerced vote of confidence. Will anyone else let the Beast Woman come? Archon barks orders at Beast Woman? Thinks kills in Shadow will obey? Beast Woman follows only toughest, most vicious Alpha. Alpha to kills in shadow has slain and rip slaughtered ruthlessly, leaving trail of praise corpses through whole of tears lands. His best fighter can make even unbroken humans flee, yelping in fear. Mm, we'll not find better predator elsewhere. Will anyone else? I have one final question, Fatebinder. You were brought to this campaign to adjudicate the disagreements between the two armies. After your arrival, matters quickly escalated into a civil war. 
Did you knowingly join the conquest of the tears to sow discord in your wake? Or were you merely a victim of circumstance? It's possible, even likely, that the Archons traveled south with their own agendas. I make no secret of the fact that the more worthy of the two would have inherited the tears to rule as their domain under Kairos, and ambition got the better of them both. I am finished with my line of questioning. Have you any closing remarks for the court? The way you frame it, the conquest sounds like a matter of true personal investment. Most curious. After weighing the charges, this court finds you... Innocent. Against all reason or expectation, I find you innocent. Your testimony was sufficient to justify your deeds, your self-appointed authority, and your undermining of Kairos's law. I... I can hardly believe it myself. Archon, your presentation in the court today has shaken many of my core beliefs. Things I held sacred under Kairos's law are now uncertain. I once thought that Kairos was the sole overlord. The notion of rising to her echelon of power and influence wasn't a concept that existed for me, for anyone. You have proven her wrong. What's more, you understand justice and law better than she ever did. Better than even. I am willing to accept you as my new sovereign, if you'll have me. My gavel and my justice are yours. I will execute your laws as you draft them, show mercy as you see fit, and bring to ruin all who would reject you. Master. If you'll join me upstairs, I will pledge fealty to you in a lawful manner. Yes. Archon, change has come to the tears, and in time it will reach the Empire itself. You are the agent of that change, and even I could not have predicted what impossible heights you would reach. The time has come to take up the gavel and usher in a new age of structure and law to the tears. You will henceforth define justice for the rest of us. I will follow your lead, and endeavor to follow your design. As the ruling Archon of the Tears, I submit to your authority, and thank you for bringing order out of chaos.
go and represent the strength of law. Be the example the tears require, the force that keeps them together, and the hope for their future under one rule. Let your justice know no mercy but that which you impose. Civilization itself will bend according to your design. Never forget this. I am grateful to stand in your loyal service, Archon, but there is a shadow over these proceedings. Though you have proven yourself greater than the other Archons, Kairos is not satisfied. She sends a legion of expert soldiers marching on the tears as we speak, their war songs calling for your death. Power begets power. A demonstration aimed at Kairos herself would give her a reason to regroup and consider her options. It would have to be a display of incredible proportions. Yes, destruction on that scale might serve your purpose. The North will tremble under your forceful hand. Return to the Mountain Spire and see your will given shape and consequence. Show Kairos the face of true power. should bite at foes with fire and blood. Venom and darkness. Want to watch flailing, fleeing humans lit as fires and shadow. Beast woman and alpha to kills in shadow have slaughtered many tough challengers and fight for survival. Have hunted archons and rip ravaged whole armies. Kairos was in tears, lands. Shadow Hunter would tear out human Prima's throat, consume fear flooded heart, and scent mark humans' mangled bones. Alpha 2 would do the same. It's the beginning of new season, of time to hunt human called Overlord. The tears have been conquered, unified at last under a single banner. Your edict brings devastation and ruin to the Northern Empire. Some believe the edict to be Kairos' work, 
Others hope, or fear, that this edict comes from a new voice. Kairos's forces withdraw from their march upon the Tears, as they are sent into disarray by your edict. You have brought order to the Tears, uniting the realms with the disfavored Legion and forcing your will. The Overlord's conquest of the known world has come to a halt, and the whisper of a challenger to Kairos's power slowly spreads throughout the land. <laughs>